Welcome back to my channel. My name is Missy, if you are new. We are a family of three and we live in an apartment and my channel is about making any space a home and just in general homemaking, cleaning, decorating, and of course cooking. And today's video, I thought I would do something a little different. Back in the day, I used to do Hun What's For Dinner. Um, somebody trademarked that and I got copyrighted for every time I said that. <laughs> so I had to take all of those videos down and that is why I quit making them. But I really did enjoy doing like cooking videos with you guys and you guys really seem to enjoy them. So I was thinking about just doing like Cook With Missy, surely somebody hasn't trademarked that or cook with me or something general like that where I try you know one or two or three depending um new recipes a week and share them with you guys because I get in a rut sometimes you know with cooking um this part of homemaking is buying the food putting the food away making the food cleaning up the food and doing it all over again <laughs> all the time so I just thought it'd be fun to share some new recipes that I'm trying out, some I found on Pinterest, some I find when I'm scrolling through like Instagram or Facebook or just new things that like that inspire me to try different things. And when I do, I just thought it'd be fun to share that with you guys. So today I have two new recipes that I'm trying out and one is a ham and cheese slider with um Hawaiian sweet rolls and you make like this butter glaze and I'm serving mine with french fries and tater tots and another one is for us I mean this is a very general thing a lot of people eat Chinese or whatever you want to call it but it's beef and broccoli with um, fried rice the only thing is is that I am just starting to eat some beef hamburger I can do not a lot, but a little bit, but any kind of like beef, like steak or roast or anything like that still really tears my stomach up. So I'm going to, um, trade out like a beef steak cubes or something of that nature for just hamburger and call it beef and broccoli. And I'm making my own homemade, um, vegetable fried rice in my wok and I found some really cool seasonings and things like that so I just thought it'd be fun to share this stuff with you and it's really they're cheap inexpensive meals you can get all of this stuff at any you know regular grocery store I got my stuff from Walmart so I just wanted to share this with you guys if you guys really seem to like this then this might be like the third video of every week that I do. So you would get like two clean with me, decorate with me, maybe shop with me for decor or whatever. And then like once a week share new recipes with you if you guys really like it. Uh, I get a lot of requests for Missy, what happened to Hun? What's for dinner and stuff like that? Well, I wasn't going to say anything because I don't want to cause drama. But, you know, I was doing that like when I first opened my channel and I had like 86 videos of Hun What's For Dinner and then out of the blue, a year later, I got copyrighted because somebody trademarked Hun What's For Dinner. So I had to literally take all of those videos down and any time I said that, like in a description. <laughs> so that's why I quit doing that. But I figure if I make these very general like cook with me or homemaking cook with me or something of that nature. Try a new recipe with me or something like that. I should be okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to give it another whirl. If you think you guys would like these kinds of videos, it's part of homemaking and that's what I'm all about. Making a space into a home, being a homemaker, and just making your home your special place and the kitchen and dinners and stuff like that is a big part of it. So if you think you guys would like this, um, I will do this more on a regular basis, like weekly. So I would love to hear your input down below. So don't forget to leave me some comments. If you're new here, I am so glad that you're here. I'm, my channel is growing and I just love it. That's why I want to add some new content so that it doesn't get like the same repetitive thing over and over again. And um, I'm so glad to see all the new lovies. You're not subs to me, you're lovies. You join the lovey tribe 
and I am just so blessed by all of you. Don't forget to follow me down below on all my social media. I would love to see you on my Instagram. I have a Facebook group, I have Patreon, I have it all. Just check the doobly-doo down below, <laughs> the Dropbox, and let's get into this. All right, lovies, this is our first recipe, which is the sweet roll sliders. You're going to need your favorite cheese. Ours happens to be um, baby Swiss, but you can use provolone, cheddar, whatever. You definitely have to get the King's Hawaiian sweet rolls. I have to say they're the best. You're going to cut them right down the middle so that you have the big square left over. And your first layer that you're going to put on is your cheese. Now, some people, I feel like with the butter topping, this is quote unquote wet enough. But I've seen some people put mustard or mayonnaise or anything of that nature. That's your opinion. I think the glaze is good enough. <laughs> So after I get one layer of the Swiss cheese down, then you're gonna put your favorite ham on. We love this Great Value Black Forest. You're, it's very sliced thin, so it's very thin. So I put like two layers of this on there, you know, a good, nice portion. Boiled ham would be good on this. Chipped ham would be good on this. If you can't use ham, I would imagine turkey would be good with this. I've never made these with turkey. But I couldn't see why it wouldn't be. We just prefer it with the ham and I mean with the Swiss cheese. Oh my God, it's so good. So after you get a nice layer of your ham slices down, you are going to put another layer of your favorite cheese. And like I said, there's so many cheese. If you like hot pepper jack cheese, I know provolone, mozzarella, those are all great melting cheeses. So you can do anything you want in your preference really with meat and cheese, but we just happen to like Swiss and ham. So here comes our second layer of our Swiss. We like ours very cheesy. <laughs> and this is for dinner and you're only gonna get like two or three sliders per person. So after you get all your cheese and your meat laid down, excuse my finger, you're going to put the top of the Hawaiian rolls on top <laughs> of all of your meat and cheese. T it takes a little finessing because you're trying to keep it together. So that's why, you know, the camera's a little over the place. But your your goal is to keep the bottom and the tops kind of the bread together. And then you're smacking all that yummy cheese and ham in the middle. And then your next thing you're going to do is prepare your butter glaze. So you're going to melt one stick of butter in a pan. And I'm using garlic and onion powder. So once that butter is melt melted, we're going to add one, um, I think it's one, is it teaspoon? Yes, I believe it is. One teaspoon of garlic and one teaspoon of onion. I don't per se like measure it out, but if you wanted specific measurements, I would think it'd be like one teaspoon. I just kind of eyeball it. You're gonna mix that all up. It flavors the butter. Um, it makes it almost like a paste you'll see here in a minute. And then you're gonna pour that all over your Hawaiian rolls. <sighs> this is the secret. And this is what I mean by like, I really don't feel like it needs mayonnaise or mustard or anything of that nature, but you know, to each his own. It probably would just add another layer of flavor, but I think with the butter glaze, they're like quote unquote wet enough. And then see how it forms like this nice little glaze. You're gonna spread that all over the um, buns. And then it's optional. Some people don't like seeds. We, we like poppy seeds. Um, so I just sprinkle poppy seeds on the top, but if you have sesame, sesame seeds would probably be great on here. But we like that, I don't know, I, I like the poppy seeds. So we put poppy seeds on top. But like I said, I think sesame seeds would be good on here too. And then you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. This is a that sizzle. Oh, it's gonna be so yummy. I think they're done. Let me pull them out. Now you're gonna cut these babies up into sliders to serve for your family. Tip, use a pizza cutter. A pizza cutter goes right through. It makes perfect little sliders. This is delicious. You will not be sorry you made this for your family. So the first thing you wanna do is get a pot of water on and start rendering your hamburger. 
I'm making one and a half cups of rice, so I need three cups of water. So I'm just making regular white rice. But if you have like jasmine rice or brown rice or whatever works for you, use it. I'm just using everyday store-bought white rice. So I gotta get the water going. And then once the rice is finished, you know, boiling, then I will switch that over into my um, wok and then I'll start making fried rice. But you have to make the rice first. Another great way to make fried rice is if you had Chinese recently and you kept some of the white rice that comes with the Chinese, if you keep that in your fridge, I think it'll stay to like three or four days, you can make your own fried rice from that rice as well. So I'm going to start my pot of water and get my beef on in the frying pan. We have fire in our chicken yard. So while the beef and the rice is cooking, I'm going to steam a bag of broccoli. And because we love vegetables, I'm gonna throw in some cauliflower. You don't have to, you could steam two bags of broccoli, but I'm gonna do one bag of broccoli and one bag of cauliflower. And I'm gonna steam those and get them ready to add into the beef. And then I will show you the seasoning packets. These are the seasoning packets that I'm using. They're both um, by this sun, I think that says Sunbird. They both require for you to use soy sauce. I am not using soy sauce because it's very salty. So I'm going to use a little bit of extra oil and water for mine. But if you wanna follow the directions, you totally can add your soy sauce. I'm just not because I don't want the extra um, salt in mine because I'm watching um, my leg. I have lymphedema and I need to be careful about my salt intake. So I'm leaving out the soy. So if you happen to use these packets and try them out and um, you want to leave the soy sauce out, I will let you know at the end how this tasted. Um, and if you have tried these and you did use the soy, let me know down in the comments how it tasted for you guys. Okay, now once I got my rice in my wok with some oil, I'm going to be adding the fried rice seasoning mix, and I'm going to be adding eggs and mixed vegetables to this, but I'm gonna add this fried rice mix straight to the rice and then add my extras. So let's get that going. I'll mix it. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells gingery, like soy sauce. Okay. We're going to get that mixed in and let the rice fry a little bit before we add the vegetables and our eggs. So after the rice is fried for a little bit, I made a well, put a little bit of teeny oil and cracked two eggs in there. And we're gonna get them cooking right in the middle of the rice. We're gonna get them scrambled up and then we will move that all through the rice and then add the vegetables. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And we'll get that all done.
going to mix all that out at the moment. We're going to add some mixed vegetables, about a cup, and get all of that stirred in there. There you go, vegetable fried rice and beef and broccoli. It looks amazing. It smells really good. I hope it's as good as it smells. So I'll let you know, but it looks yummy. Quick and easy meal. So I wanted to give you guys my first impressions of this because I have never made this before with the seasoning packets and I sure as heck never made beef and broccoli with just hamburger. I always use like some kind of steak filet or something of that nature. So I really wanted to give you my first like initial, re it, it was so good. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that, I was like really shocked. And those seasoning packets, they make a huge difference. They definitely have that beef and broccoli flavor. It makes the sauce really thick. And for the fried rice, it definitely has that like a vegetable -y and gingery kind of taste to it. And I'm sure if you do add the soy sauce to these, it would boost those flavors right up. But for us, this was just perfect. I definitely highly recommend this. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you what's left. No rice and a little bit of beef. <laughs> it was actually really, really good. And like I said in a voiceover earlier, you were supposed to use soy sauce in both of these. Just a little bit of water and a little bit of soy sauce. I didn't have soy sauce and I don't like using soy sauce because um, I have lymphedema in my leg and it's really salty and that might make my leg swell. Guys, it was delicious without it. I'm sure if I would have added soy sauce, this probably would have like bumped up the flavor. My dog's drinking water as always. Every time I talk, he's on the water. But it was delicious without soy sauce. But if you want to follow the exact directions on the back of these packets, it does require, let's see, two teaspoons of soy sauce for the fried rice and the beef and broccoli. I didn't use it and it was delicious. And I think that's the testament of how good it was. So I highly, highly, highly recommend both of these meals. And I thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you did and you wanna see more, see more, if you wanna see more, if you wanna see more, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be talking to you guys in the next one. Until then, take care of you. Know I love you, but God loves you more. Bye guys.